Rajiv from my e tutors and this is a very short video in these videos i would be discussing the common mistakes that a student commits while solving questions so in this i would be discussing about osmotic pressure now the formula of osmotic pressure is pi is crt or i can write it as pi v would be wb by mb RT. Now the common mistakes, the first and the very important mistake is that I have seen some students take the value of pi as 3.14 or 22 by 7. So it is not 3.14 or 22 by 7 because this is not a mathematical expression. It is just a notation of osmotic pressure so it is never 3.14 or 22 by 7 the next common mistake that i have seen over the years is volume that students take volume in either milliliters or any other unit it is not in milliliters or any other unit it should be always in liters now the reason that we are using in liters is this concentration is always expressed in moles per liter so if it is moles per liter because we are using we have simplified this term as concentration so we have to use it in moles per liter whenever you are given volume in milliliters or in decimeter cube so you have to convert it into liters make sure that volume is in liters and then substitute that volume this is the second common mistake i have seen the third is value of r that is the constant now there are many values for r but in this formula specifically we would be using 0 0.0821 liters atmospheres if we have to calculate the osmotic pressure in atmosphere or it can be 0 0.083 liters bar Kelvin inverse mole inverse I have seen over the years that students usually take value as 8.314 joules Kelvin inverse mole inverse now it can't be this value because joules is a unit for energy and we, we are calculating pressure which is not associated with energy. So in calculating osmotic pressure we have to use either this value or this value. This 8.314 cannot be used. Last would be the silly mistake that temperature is always used in Kelvin scale because in chemistry whatever question you are solving and if there is temperature associated with it you have to use the temperature in Kelvin and the conversion would be very simple T plus 273 where T is temperature in degree centigrade So this is, these are the three or four mistakes that I have seen over the years that students tend to commit with this formula. The most common one is volume and the value of R. These are the most common mistakes. Out of 100, I have seen 40 or 50 students are making these mistakes. So try to rectify your mistakes and try to remember these important things it will help you in your examination if you feel that video has given you a better insight then give me a like subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon by hitting the bell icon youtube will send you a notifications whenever such videos are uploaded thanks for watching the video